Now I'm hoping this mission... Now this mission can be a bit buggy. Uh, sadly. Which is one of the few flaws this game really has. Um, in the very beginning of the mission, if you don't go in through the main door, if you try to sneak up around, the game thinks that you've basically made the Marines hostile. Which happens because, well, you sneak in and they, they don't have clearance for you to be there. And then whenever they get killed in fight, because they're hostile to you, the game thinks that you've sort of fought them, killed them. Now, there's also another issue, in that sometimes the game doesn't sort of seem to recall if you've been lethal or not. Granted, it's barely any difference in the long run, but we're gonna try that our best anyway. Not sure what Serkov said if that means anything or not, because he said, no, the people we've killed, we haven't actually killed anyone. But well, we're hoping that, um, he's just full of shit, basically. Can we sneak kill this guy? Yes, we can. Oh, that was an innovation trigger on that one. Because of the animation. This guy's a bit close. Well, trank him. See, again, why do these guys suddenly have... Can they suddenly shoot me? Oh, they're still moving. Hopefully... Oh, those are down then. There's only two left. I'm out there. Alright, one guy left. Oh, he's on the move too. Can we... Alright, now he's yellow instead of red. Damn it. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. If we... Shut up, if we can just take him out. Like that. Right. The level of stealth is generally separated into different things. Mostly it's as long as you don't um, activate an alarm, which we haven't done so far. We've also not actually killed any of the VCI. It's all been tranquilizers and it's all been melee. So they're all still alive. Alright, here's the deal. We want to try to destroy that thing. Which we can do. As long as it doesn't see us, it shouldn't trigger the alarm. Alright, let's... There we go. And now we can go back to tranquilizer runs. For Bravo Squad. Stand still. That's Bravo Squad dealt with. And we are in good position. This is where we disable the security. Thank God. More hacking. There we go. Did it. Security gates unlocked. Now all I have to do is get Okay, out. so far so good. It's a computer system here, handy. Oh, a couple of guys. I'll stay careful here. Info on Scarlet of all people. I think he's too far away to get a shot off. However, we can get a sh Come on out. That 
was a bit weird. He kept being all super avoiding stuff, so I couldn't get a shot lined up on him. But hey, it worked. Oh, hello. No one's out there, don't you worry. Love how his voice just changed. There's a few more guys here. And I think there's a turret there. They are causing issues. Let's get the steel core arms. Alright. Now there's another one around that side, which is even more a pain in the ass. Because we pretty much can't even get around. I'll try this way instead, now that we've taken out that turret. Hold on, switch it to oops. That's wrong. Switch it to triangle rounds. Alright, him down. Uh, back to steel core rounds. Do we need to do that? Will it see me? It better not see me. It's so far away. There we go, no alarms. There's still another guy there. We need to keep our eyes open so we don't get seen by him. Seen the elevator, possibly. Yes, he is. That's fine. Let's sort him out. Actually, tell him what we can do. Just walk in and punch him. Oh, yeah. oh, I shut down the elevator. Um, stairs then. Oh, there's guys down there. Um, chain shots. Is the way to go here, I believe? Oh, wrong button. I'll figure it out eventually, I swear. One, two. One, two, three. Well, those two sorted. Um, can we jump up there, or do we need to go around? No, there's definitely a... It's not going to be anything valuable, but I kind of feel like... Ah, never mind. I'm picking up PCI transmissions. Looks like reinforcements are entering the embassy. Reinforcements? Like it hasn't been enough already. Come on. I'm running out of tranquilizer bullets, too. Man, Albatross better appreciate this. Open door or drop down? Uh, this is, yeah, the wreck to the start. I guess we're leaving now. Sarkov said he was going to meet us outside. Oh, there's no more... Oh, there's fire here. Awareness isn't picking up any enemies, so... We can just sort of run out and relax. Sirkov's at the front door. Provide cover. Don't let him get shot, or this was all for nothing. Tango bogey nutter. Initiating search. Provide cover. Alright, well, we did get a sniper rifle dead drop. Is 
sadly we don't have any trank rifles on this. How is Sarkov? How are you already so low on health? Come on, man. How? Wait, what? There we go. Resume your help to me because I can help you. Pretty much. Find out what Halbeck's doing in Moscow, Sarkov. I've been told you're the man to talk to. Should I be honored? But Halbeck? Why? It's my responsibility to find out what they're doing here in Moscow. Your responsibility. Forgive me, Mr. Thornton, but my understanding was that you are a rogue agent. That doesn't make me any less responsible to my country or to the world, Mr. Surkov. Can you help me? I will, gladly. Halbeck is smuggling weapons through Moscow. Was your country not already aware of this? I'm not sure how much my government really knows. There seems to be protocols in place to blind them to their own actions. Hmm. I do not know who Halbeck's contact is in Moscow, but it will not take me long to find out. I appreciate the cooperation. As I appreciate you saving my life, Mr. Thornton. I think our responsibility to our countries is something we see eye to eye on. Glad to hear it, Zirkov. I look forward to hearing from you. Alright. Moment of truth. There we go. Nothing but green text. Good stuff. Managed to bluff the guards, allied with Albatross. Um, got the resistance with VCI. We did defend the embassy guards from the attackers. Blah, 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 blah. Circa Grateful agreed to meet me and tell me what he knows. Excellent. Alright, that's good. Generally, it seems to be as long as you don't do the latter thing, it'll, it'll still mark things as properly. Stealthy or non-stealthy or non-lethal or whatever you want to call it. Um, email from Albatross. Do you and all your sorties walk up and introduce yourself to every uniformed soldier you see? Well, no, but this was the easy one. When the mission turned to a firefight, you did what you could to minimize casualties. Yes, thank you. Good. Good, good, good. Albatross is appreciated, and Grigori also likes this. Information. On who exactly? Champion chick. Could be interesting. See, well, yes, whatever. Scarlet's thankful for a little information we sent her. Good, good. Thousand dollars. Not much, but it's something. It's more useful to put the squeeze in Halbeck. Uh, one day. One day, we will get the Samael Seraphim. But we need to more than double our available funds at the moment to get that, so... Let's not start dreaming. Okay. Let's go have a chat with Zerkov. Actually, before we do, if we can keep this as a friendly chat, Let's, uh, let's make sure we dress properly. Let's go to normal winter clothing. And we're good. We can't exactly unequip our weapons, because, well, that would be very unwise. So there's a lot to do. Mr. Thornton, I'm glad you were able to make it. I have the information you requested. Glad to hear it, Mr. Surkov. Sergei, please. After the incident at the embassy, I'm glad we can talk under more relaxed circumstances. Without the armor. Uh -huh. Yeah, wearing civilian clothes is starting to feel out of place the way things are going. Understood. Mr. Thornton. Michael. As I said, I was able to track down the information you requested. After reading your dossier, however. I had a proposal for you. Hmm. So you found out what Halbeck is doing in Moscow? I did. But there's more to it than that. Michael, I'm going to be honest with you. Based on your record and the events in Rome, I think you can be trusted. I have had dealings with Halbeck. In fact, 
I was their initial contact for smuggling weapons into Moscow, including these missiles you're looking for. Those missiles were used to bring down that airliner in the Middle East. People died. Yes, and I think we both know that's just the beginning. Halbeck and I did not see eye to eye on the terms of our arrangement. We had a falling out. Unfortunately, they've found a new partner here in Moscow, a Konstantin Breko. Breko? I don't think I've heard of him. If he's an arms dealer, I'm surprised he didn't show up on the radar when I arrived. He merely has delusions of becoming one, which makes him more dangerous. He's not the man to show restraint in business dealings, but few members of the Russian Mafia do. Can you give me details on Breko and his operation? He started out in prostitution and extortion, and now he's moved up to drug smuggling. What about weapon trafficking? The Halbeck angle sounds new. It is. If the angle is profitable, however, Breko is an eager student. Halbeck's arrangement with Breko is going to cause repercussions. I'm a reasonable man, but Breko is dangerous. He will sell to anyone, provided they have the money. Those missiles, along with the other Halbeck munitions, could end up in places where greater tragedies can occur. So what's your proposal? If I help you with Breko, I do not want my past involvement with Halbeck exposed. <laughs> Working with him is a mistake, and I understand that. <sighs> Might as well. The information you can provide helps stop Halbeck's plans. I'll do what I can to keep you out of it. Then I can ask for little else. I felt you would be open to such a deal, Michael. Then all I need is Breko's location. He's in a mansion outside Moscow, decorated to his own particular tastes. I'm more interested in his defenses. That intelligence you may have to gain on your own or purchase from local contacts. Just download the location of my PDA and I'm set. Very well. We'll have the information sent to you. And thank you again for saving my life, Michael. Whoa there, big guy. Didn't see you there. You been there the whole time? My apologies. Ah, champion chick. Is here to see me, Mr. Thornton. If you are going after Breko, then I am in need of protection while you're away. Nothing better than a walking wall, I guess. That medal for real? Champion chick won it in the Olympics. Boxing, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I won some too. In shooting and martial arts. Have fun, you two. Hmm. Alright, well, the way I figure, yes, he's done something in the past, and, well... It's more important to get a hold on Breko at the moment. See what I can do, but if I find out more, well, we'll see. Ah, oh, Leyland. So you and Surkov met at the embassy during the attack. I could have timed it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the embassy did not. An unfortunate coincidence. Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? Yeah. I was only after Surkov. I didn't mean for anyone else to get in the way. Now don't be down on yourself. No one knew the embassy was going to be attacked, did they? Someone did. Well, I hear most of the Marines died doing their duty, and the VCI suffered some casualties, I imagine but probably not much. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton, but one man against several highly trained squads? No, the odds aren't that good. Is that your way of asking if I had allies? Fuck off, Leyland. Next time wear a billboard with your motivation on it, it'd be more subtle. You're testing my limits, Thornton. Good, you overconfident prick. You've already stepped on my last nerve. Don't expect any manners out of me. Well, if it hadn't been for that attack in Moscow, I doubt if anyone would have known you were in the city. You certainly kept a low profile. I'm not in broadcasting or marketing, so that shouldn't surprise you. I don't know. It seems you still make an impression on the fairer sex, no matter what the age difference is. What are you talking about? Z. In mercenary circles, she's something of an... Old, reliable. Is that why she's on your payroll? Ah, so you backtracked that, did you? Very good. She's not a big fan of your friend Marburg, judging from her comments. The poor man doesn't have many friends in his line of work, Thornton. Show some sympathy. I already pity him. 
I'll pass that along. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Yeah, I sort of expected more from XKGB when I met him. But maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. I see. You didn't seem to have much trouble getting information out of Surkov. I imagine you two had a cordial talk while the bullets were flying. He cooperated. I think he appreciated the fact I acted like a professional. I don't know if he fully trusted me then, but... But he did tell you who had the Hellbent missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. But Constantine, now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star.